everybody. I am Dr. Shabana Munshi, a consultant, gynecologist and obstetrician in Bellevue Clinic, Kolkata and Bhagirati Niyotia Women and Child Care Centre in Rodden Street. Today, I am going to speak on polycystic ovarian syndrome or PCOS as you commonly know. It is a syndrome or a collection of symptoms which is characterized by an ovulation or decreased ovulation along with features of hirsutism or androgenic features and or polycystic ovaries in the ultrasound report. Most patients of PCOS can present with menstrual abnormalities. It can be in the form of decreased period or it can be in the form of prolonged duration between the periods which we call as oligomenorrhea. Sometimes the patient may even come to us in the chamber with absence of periods for a duration of one to two months or even more, which we call as secondary amenorrhea. Sometimes they may just present with metomenorrhagia, which is irregular menstruation or intermenstrual bleeding. Secondly, the patient can present with features of hair growth in other places such as facial hair in the upper lip and also excess of body hair which we call as hirsutism. Another important feature apart from the physical abnormalities uh, which a patient can present with PCOS, they come with an incidental finding on ultrasound with a typical multiple cyst in one or both ovaries. Another important feature is the psychological aspect of polycystic ovarian syndrome. Patients can come with most commonly with depression and other psychological disturbances which require treatment. Some of the chronic problems which is seen in patients who are having PCOS are diabetes mellitus, chronic heart disease in the long run and even psychological issues and metabolic disease. Now the first thing is to diagnose the condition, secondly is the management. Now the most important aspect of management of uh, PCOS is with the help of certain uh, lifestyle modification. The lifestyle modification can be gaining or having the optimum weight. This can be by visiting a dietitian or it can be uh, by even uh, speaking to the gynecologist for further opinion regarding the diet. Another important aspect is exercise. So there are certain types of PCOS which may be even obese PCOS and will require uh, lifestyle modification in the form of exercise. It can be yoga for 30 minutes or even simple walking may help at times. Another aspect of PCOS management is certain medications. One is to visit the obstetrician and after correct diagnosis may be put on a, a long period of duration of medication which, he, which she should take regularly so that she can uh, achieve and get cured of PCOS. Sometimes the psychological aspect of PCOS is to be kept in mind and one is to take proper counselling so as to address the depression which is also seen as a long term of having PCOS. Another important symptom with which a PCOS patient can present is the anovulatory infertility and even in 80% cases of ovulatory fertility, infertility patient can have PCOS and requires a different mode of management. But the basic which we have to remember here is the lifestyle modification with optimum diet and exercise. A diet comprising of green leafy vegetables, a diet which comprises of less fat intake or processed foods such as cheese and butter, intake of minimum maida will help in the long run of curing PCOS. Especially in these COVID times when access to the doctor is not so easy, one should start the PCOS treatment at home by lifestyle modification, a simple walk or a simple um, uh, consultation with a dietitian will help the patient. I would like to sum up by saying that PCOS is very much treatable and one can with a multicentric approach get cured of PCOS. Thank you.